Building permissions determine what access rights people have around the building. In addition, building permissions are used to determine people's permissions to use other equipment, such as intruder alarms, lights, and air conditioning units. Building permissions are found in rules. There are some default permissions that have been set up for your convenience. All devices all the time gives full access to everything without restriction. All devices working hours gives access to everything but only within the working hours time profile. More information can be found in the time profiles video. In addition to the default building permissions, you can create your own custom building permissions. Use the control in the ribbon bar to add a new building permission and give it a name. Here, you can select the people that will have this new permission. You can select the devices that people will be granted access to. You can select the time profiles during which access permissions will be granted. If multiple time profiles are selected, then permissions will be granted during any one of them. Within a single building permission, you may want to give access to different devices at different times. This can be achieved using the Add Access Level control. This allows you to select a different set of devices with different time profiles. For example, this building permission will allow access to the car park barriers all the time and doors into the building only during working hours. Many access levels can be added for each building permission. There are two main ways of managing building permissions, by people group or by individual. If managing permissions by group, then people groups, not individuals, are assigned building permissions. To give access rights to any person, they are simply moved into the appropriate group. For example, here we have a building permission called visitor. This determines the access rights for visitors. You can see that no individual people are specified in the permission, just the visitor group. When a new person is created in the visitor group, they will automatically inherit the appropriate permissions. People can exist in more than one group. Here, we see that a person exists in the manager's group. We can copy him across into the fire marshal group by dragging and dropping whilst pressing the Alt key or by simply copying and pasting. Being in more than one group means that this person inherits permissions that have been assigned to both groups. If a person exists in more than one group, they still have a single record. Think of their multiple appearances in groups as shortcuts. If you want to confirm which groups a person exists in, refer to the Group Membership tab in their record. Here, groups can be viewed and edited. A person's permissions can be revoked by moving them into an appropriate folder and removing from all other folders, or simply by using the bar person control in the ribbon bar. If managing permissions by individual, you can either go into their record and select the appropriate permission, or you can go into the building permission and select the appropriate person. Both methods achieve exactly the same outcome. Choose which way is most convenient for you. People can be assigned multiple building permissions. The resulting building permissions for any person is the sum of their individual permissions. Thanks for watching. For more information about Paxton 10, have a look at some of our other videos.